We're going to have a look at finding numbers that multiply together to give you something and add together to give you something. And this is going to be useful when we come to factorizing trinomials. So we're asked what two integers multiply together to give 18 and add together to give 11. Now integers can be either negative or positive numbers um, and we want them to multiply together to give us 18, a positive number. Now we know that a positive times a positive will give us a positive, but also a negative times a negative will give us a positive. So we could either be talking about two positives or two negatives. But we know that they've got to add together to give us 11, which is a positive number. So we're dealing with this situation over here where we're just talking about two positives. So, what we're then going to go and do is we're going to have a look at 18 and we're going to list all the things, the factors of 18, the things that multiply together to give us 18. So, it could be 1 times 18, it could be 2 times 9, it could be 3 times 6, not 4, not 5, and then we're back to 6, so we've got all of them. And then all we need to do is look which of these add up to 11, well it's 2 and 9, and so our answer in this case is our numbers are 2 and 9. So let's look at another example. Here they multiply together to give 16 and add together to give negative 8. So because our product is positive, we know again we've got a positive times a positive, um, and we, or we've got a negative times a negative. But we know they've got to add together to give negative 8, and there's no way that then it can be a positive number plus another positive number that ends up at negative 8. So we know that we must be in this situation here where both of the, them are negative. So let's look at what numbers multiply together to give you 16. So it could be negative 1 and negative 16. It could be negative 2 multiplied with negative 8. Um, not negative 3, could be negative 4 multiplied with negative 4, and that's it, we're repeating. So we need to look which of those add up to negative 8, and it's these two. So that's our answer. One last example, if we're looking this time for the multiply, them to multiply together to give negative 10 and add to give 3. In this case, the product has to be negative, so we need know we're dealing with either a negative times a positive or a positive times a negative. There are two different options for this one. So we're actually going to write down all the options. So let's have a look. It could be negative 1 multiplied by 10, but it could be 1 multiplied by negative 10. Then we can go to 2. Well, it could be negative 2 multiplied by 5, or 2 multiplied by negative 5. Can't be 3, can't be 4, 5, we're back where we started, so that's it. So now let's look which of these add together to give us 3. This is 9, this is negative 9, this is 3, and this is negative 3. So our two numbers that we're talking about are negative 2 and 5.